early April, smallmouth fishing. Water clarity looks pretty good. Excited to get out today. Chasing smallmouth. Like, as soon as your fly touches down, I get the slack out of the line. And sometimes they'll come up and just rip for it for a while. And then eventually they're stuck in. It should be right there. Oh, oh. Yep, there's one. He's pissed. kind of flies we starting with um i got a this is like a little lightly weighted bead chain thing nice i tie it's kind of like some of the rust madden stuff and then uh kelly gallops bottoms up yep he doesn't know anything about streamer fishing <laughs> <laughs> Guys, welcome back to another Fish Hands adventure. It's early April. We're back on the smallmouth hunt, and I couldn't be more excited. I'm out with Augie. Uh, we did a video with him last year. My buddy Bill caught the biggest smallmouth of his life, <laughs> and uh, I got my good buddy Tim out with me today. He's an incredible photographer, and uh, I'm hoping to learn quite a bit from him. We're gonna be fishing from a boat today, so we got Augie's uh, Smith Fly uh, raft out, and uh, really nice platform to fish from. We got the seven weights, we got weighted streamers. Now, the least I can do is catch a fish or get hooked on this tree. We're gonna see, number one, where are the fish holding? Number two, how deep are they? What are they willing to eat? Number three, I'm on the hunt for that 20 inch smallmouth. Let's we'll see if we can get it done. But yeah, if you have a, if you're tight enough where if they hit it, you can get a good set, you know, yep. then there's nothing wrong with a pretty long stall. Yeah, so they're likely to hit it on the dead drift this uh -huh. time of year, right? And then I'd fish them pretty much all the way in until your leader's about to come through the guides. Okay. Because a lot of times they'll be on that color change right there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Tim's real humble, but the dude's a stick in the back of the I boat, so. <laughs> <laughs> you look pretty comfortable with what we're doing right here. <laughs> <laughs> Fish. Interesting. Oh yeah. Oh. Nice springtime fatty smallmouth. Who says you can't roll cast streamers? <laughs> oh, it works. <laughs> <laughs> On these floats, it's kind of necessary a lot of the time. Right. <laughs> so many trees. 
Yeah, when you're backed up. Uh-huh, yeah. Ooh, this is a nice little spot here. Anybody? It's pretty deep, so make sure you guys give it like... Oops, the fish. Nice, dude. You called the shot on that one. <laughs> <laughs> this is some good looking one. Kind of top end of a hole. Nice. Good Low looking riffle. Mouth, dude. Uh huh. She's fresh. Let's get her back. It was. Yep. It was. Uh, I let it get down, like you said, uh -huh. and um, just kind of paused it down the bottom of the hole. Which line is this, uh, Augie? Is this Cortland? Uh huh. That's that Cortland Fotec Five. Fotec Five. It's like. 15 foot of 5 inches per second, and then an intermediate running line. I like that pretty well. I also like that essay. I think it's I-3-5. It's like the 15 foot head is like 5 and then 3 inches per second with the intermediate running. Okay. And I probably, I like them equally well. I probably like the essay a little bit better as far as performance, but the court one's tough to beat in durability, it seems like. I feel like I get a a wild amount of life out of the Portland line. Tim's in the zone, baby. <laughs> nice, dude. Uh, yeah. You hit it twice. Dude. <laughs> oh, no, I felt it. That's what I was like, oh. <laughs> and then it came back. I was like, oh, Fish, fish, pretty good fish. Ah, <laughs> the spot. Yeah. Good, Larry. Nice. He came up out of the deep, dude. I like a big river, large mouth. Me too. There He's fighting go. pretty good. He is. Usually, you just kind of flop right. over, you know. Uh huh. Try yellow. Yeah. See if we get better commitment mm -hmm. out of something a little louder. Yeah, because he came right up to it and then stopped. It was a dead stop. I took it. It was on the pause too. Was it? Yeah, it was. It was just there, and I went strip. I was like, "Oh, he's on." <laughs> cool. Merch minnow strikes yeah. again. Good job. Thanks, man. Oh man, this thing kicks. It's a nice fly. Oh! Oh! I had him. Yeah, yeah. yeah I struck him. Alright, we just stopped for a beautiful lunch. Another delicious charcuterie spread by Augie. Just an amazing uh, area we're in today. Been a lot of fun having Tim with us. Moving a lot of fish, which we weren't sure what was gonna happen when we got out here today. And uh, missed a couple, had them in their mouth. Think we did most of the right things. I was telling Augie earlier, I really like to go out with certainly somebody of his caliber early in the spring, kind of get dialed in on smallmouth, start reading the water different, been fishing trout all winter. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Smash that like button, hit the subscribe, lets me know you're enjoying these. Let's get back out there. Is there a flash behind your flash? Uh, that's what I'm, that's what I was seeing too. You, was. you know? Uh-huh, yeah. It's hard to say, there is a lot of flash in that fly, but. It seemed like it was... When the fly looks like it has a tail all of a sudden, <laughs> right, yeah. that's kind of what I was seeing, but... Uh-huh, yep. Oh. 
Oh. Come on, where are you? Yep. You hit it again. Oh, dude. He's just, they're just not committing. Should be right there. Yep, there's one. Good fish. Yep. He's pissed. I'm not gonna mess around with them. Nice, boys. Sweet. I think so. <laughs> Good job, man. <laughs> it's like, hey, man, I know you're in there, so I'm. I've eaten lunch. I got my wits about me. <laughs> Time to make this kitty purr. Yeah. <laughs> <That> was... <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> if, if we go through there and just like nothing happens, then we will say, "Oh my god." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anybody have any ideas? <laughs> what? Said anybody have any ideas? <laughs> right. <laughs> Watch these things. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh boy. It's okay. We're good. <laughs> Tim just goes, ah. <laughs> What is Frank done? Just I was just wanted to test the drag on this Lampson real quick. That was just a whole bunch of nonsense, dude. Sorry hey, about that. <laughs> Thanks for coming out, brother. I'm excited. <laughs> I can think of worse ways to spend a Monday. You might ask yourself why Tim and I are on foot. This is a typical spring float where there's some down trees. We didn't know they were gonna be there. And what's happening here is our guide, Augie, is keeping his clients safe, out of danger. We're not gonna help him move this boat. And the reason for that is Augie's a professional and his job is to make sure we get home safe. So here you see Augie portaging the raft up and over a down log. Uh, this tree wasn't too far out of the water, so it's not that scary of a situation. But that water on the other side of the tree is pretty deep running into that riffle. So we were thankful Augie got out, moved the boat through this area without any trouble. We were back on the hunt. Beautifully done, Augie. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> this float's not for the faint of heart. You know? Jeez. What do you think so far, Tim? Sick day. Loving it, dude. Oh, yeah. Moving smallmouth. Dude, this is pretty legit in here, Augie. Yeah, oh yeah, we're good. Yep. Coming back. You ready? Okay. Spot's not for C minus rowers, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Augie, what do you got there? <laughs> that same fly that you're throwing. No way. <laughs> Dude. It, it, the river was up too high and it got snagged when we were past it the other That's day. That's taking conservation to another level. <laughs> 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 Or just a super lazy fly there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally. Dude. Rush, I thought you were talking to me like, you want me to cast up? Like, what am I missing? <laughs> this leader setup roll casts like a dream, Augie. Good. What do you got? 25, it's 20 like pound? Roughly 18 inches of 30 pound mono. 30 pound mono, okay. 20 pound mono. Yep. And then 12 flare carbon for the tipping. Right on. Oop, I got a small one. Uh, perfection loop together. Yep. No! Oh! Is that a fish? Yeah, dude. I, I couldn't get my line <laughs> in far enough. They're eating in this ruffle. He he must have eaten this fly 10 times, Augie. <laughs> I, I missed him every single hit. It was amazing. He swam around it five times. That's Nope, oh, there's one. Another one, huh? Yep, there. Damn. He's still on it. Oh, yeah, I see him. Oh! oh. He's looking for it. Yeah, Look at this. Look at this. Oh my god. Are you kidding Is that me? That's a small mouth or a little trout? That's a small mouth. Is it? He's on it again. <laughs> He's still on it. I stuck him, I stuck him again. I think so. I think I'll live very long doing that. No. Where did burn some calories for nothing. He finally gave up the ghost. I stuck him six times. <laughs> I think he tried every hook three or three or four times. <laughs> Oops, that one's sharp too. <laughs> oh, geez, that one's sharp. A lot of times I don't like it because if they choke a fly, you can. Yeah, you can hurt them. I'm with you. Right. No barbs on the rear hook. Dude, it's just, uh, it's not safe to be. Oop. Fish. Good fish. Good fish. Good fish. Oh, good fish. Yep, it's all good. I'm gonna try to get them to the reel. I wouldn't worry about it. Okay. Yep. What's up, dude? That's the fish, baby. <laughs> That's the one we came for. Nice, boys.
too. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs>
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like when they're 17, they're still runners. Yeah. <laughs>